and the harp has a very healthy background in folk and Celtic tradition. Now, there is as evidence of harps being in Ireland around the 7th century. And around the same time, you're going to hear a lot of oral tradition of harps being applied to the mythology and to the fairies that just carried down. Now in Ireland, the harp got to be so popular and so deep-seated into the culture that not only did the fairies get to play it, but pretty much everybody else got to, too. Now when you're talking about the fairies and the mythology, then you get a little bit of magic because it was said that the fairy magic got amplified when they were playing the harp. So, like anything, the Irish took something good and they made it their own. This is not a Celtic harp. This is a basic folk harp. It has a very straight soundboard and a straight pillar. But the Celtics designed their own. They designed what was called, and still is, a Celtic harp. Now, basically, what this is, is it, a, it consists of a soundboard that is carved from a single piece of wood, the entire thing. And the column is going to be a curved column. It's very beautiful. It runs about the same size as this. And it's just a little bit of a different shape. That's all it is. You play it while sitting on the ground so that you can be closer to the earth. That's the idea. Now, Ireland was so beloved of this beautiful instrument that it made it its national symbol and instrument. You will find it on everything from their flags to their coat of arms to their coinage money. And uh, again, certain companies decide to use it for their icons as well. It's actually a really great thing when an entire country loves an instrument so much that they're going to put it on their coat of arms, that it defines them. And that's what these little beauties get to do.